better get a hat on. All right, that'll help keep the bees out of my hair. I got one that you are not gonna believe. Mr. Ed's not gonna believe it, so I gotta show it on a video just so I can claim it. <laughs> Here's another one for the swarm competition. Mr. Ed. Oh, I'm topping you, buddy. Way topping. This is where I dump my comb bags for Elizabeth to render into blocks. Well, I dumped, this is from uh, yesterday or day before yesterday. This is a sack that I threw down here last weekend from, where is that? Alcorn State University. And it caught a swarm almost right away. Elizabeth was telling me it had bees in it all night long after a couple days. So I have not touched it. So she's left it alone. And I came out here and looked at it yesterday. It's been a week now. They've been tending brood that was left in here. <laughs> it's open it up. They have been tending some brood. Some of it's dead, of course. Get it. Look, it's but, massive. Yeah, they're even hauling out. I just saw a dead larva going there. Even hauling out the dead. Yeah, that is a full swarm of bees right there. So I'm gonna run to Dollar General and get some rubber bands. No, I'm not. I'm not going to frame this up. It's got beetle maggots in it, and I'm just going to cause problems if I try to keep this. I'm going to put these bees in a box and leave, leave the box right here because they're oriented to this location. Anything the bees can get to to defend, they'll keep the beetles out of it, but in those tight little gaps where the bees can't fit but the beetles can, they'll deposit eggs all in that, and in no time you got beetle maggots. So the beetle maggots look just like look just like maggots what's not beetle infested the bees are tending it so I'm gonna go through this and find a queen real quick we're gonna set them up in a box and we're gonna leave them right in this location because this is where they're oriented to and then tonight or tomorrow night I'll close them up and I'll move them to another yard a couple miles away and they'll get fresh wax foundations mr. Ed yappy top that <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about it and I think I am going to band up a little bit of this comb just because it's got their scent in it and I'm not convinced that they'll stay on their own. So I ran up to Dollar General, got some rubber bands, just a mix, whatever they had. I got to be real selective with this stuff. I can't put anything in there that's got beetle maggots in it. It's going to be tough finding any pieces that I can save. Because to save this, I might have to come across the middle of the brood almost. That'll leave them some fairly clean cells to not have to ward off hive beetles. Still got a little bit. Whoop. About that piece can go to. This is a decent piece of unemerged brood. It's crazy that they're working this stuff though because it looks like a lot of dead brood. I have seen them hauling out uh, pupa and larva for well, pupa, but that's definitely dead pupa right there. I don't think I want to frame any of this up. It's just let's uncap some more and see. Well, those are still alive right there. This one right here was dead though. I don't know if they had uncapped it and we're working on it. So yeah, I guess I will frame up just a little bit. Just to give them something that smells like theirs to work on. This may be all that I give them. And I've got a set of equipment sitting right there. I'm going to put it in tonight when they settle in. I'll move it to another yard. Awful lot of drones in here. They must have emerged after I dropped this off. I guess they got here before the beetles really did a number on it. This stuff will get melted down here in about a half an hour and these beetle maggots will be deep fried. 
This is what a small hive beetle infestation will do and the bees do not like the smell or the uh, the grease that they put off, the, the slime that they produce. This is just crazy that a swarm has moved into this. Yeah, there's still brood emerging out of this stuff. This was cut out. Look at all the drones emerging. This stuff was cut out uh, a week ago yesterday. Isn't that amazing? I'm going to set this aside and let them emerge. I could use the drones right now. We're making queens. Boom! Got me. And this junk will get cooked out. It's nasty. It stinks. And it will render clean. Well, what do y'all think about that? That is about the unlikeliest of swarm traps you could ever have. <laughs> Accidental catches are not uncommon, but it's usually in equipment, not in trash bags. I'll take it. And today is April 1st, and this makes number six for me, and I think Mr. Ed is at number five. This early in the season, he's usually way ahead of me because their season starts out about two weeks earlier. Well, there's a little bit of a march going on. They're starting to accept that box now. But I'll go through there and look for eggs, look for a queen in a few days. It'll be a whole lot easier once they're established on combs and they're working combs and drawing that wax out because that's we put a lot of wax on those foundations. So they'll be working, drawing that out, and real quickly she'll have somewhere to lay. I mean, like within 24 hours she'll be probably laying. This is a good day. April 1st. April Fool's, y'all, and this is no joke. Looks like a pot of beans and rice now. Once all these cocoons break up, the wax separates out, I can start scooping the trash out of it. And that's where it goes. Just dump it in the garbage can, let the garbage man haul it off. And that's what color it's gonna come out. Nice and yellow. So beautiful. So tiny. <laughs>